Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Saint. In this video, we are going to learn how to install EFK on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So EFK means Elasticsearch, FluentD and Kibana. So let's start. So you can see here some prerequisites. So firstly, we need to uh, Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS, then we need to Java 8 or higher version, then we need to two CPUs and 4 GB RAM. So let's start. So firstly, we need to update our system package using sudo apt update command. So let's update. So if you want to switch to root user, so you can run the command sudo su to switch to root user. Then let's update our system package using apt update command. So you can see it's done. So clear the screen. Then now the next step is install the APT transport HTTP package to access repository over the HTTPS. So let's run this command. So you can see it's also done. So clear the screen. Now after, after that, we need to install Java. On Ubuntu. So let's open install OpenJDK 11. So let's run this command to install OpenJDK 11 on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So I can say yes. So you can see it's installing OpenJDK 11 on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS because in prerequisites I mentioned we need to uh, Java 8 or higher version. So here that's why I'm installing OpenJDK 11. So you can see here, it's done. So now clear the screen. Now, if you want to check the details of our Java, so run the command Java hyphen hyphen version. So you can see the details of our OpenJDK 11. So now clear the screen. And now let's check the next step. Now the next step is setting the Java home environment variables. So to define the environment variable, we need to open this environment file. And here, firstly, we need to remove this path. And here, we need to add this below variable into this environment file. Now, save the file and exit. And after that, to load the environment variable, we need to run this command source slash etc slash environment. Then if you want to check the uh, path of your Java, so let's verify using Java home variable. So you can see the path of our OpenJDK level. So it's done, now clear the screen. Now we are going to install Elasticsearch on Ubuntu. So firstly download and install the public signing key. So let's install. And after that, we need to save the repository definition to this particular location. So for that, we need to run this command. So let's copy and paste in our terminal. Okay, it's also done. Now you can install the Elasticsearch. So if you want, then you can update your system package. So let's update our system package. So it's done. 
Now we are going to install Elasticsearch. So let's install using below command. So you can see it's almost done. Okay, it's done. Now clear the screen and let's check the next step. Now the next step is start our Elasticsearch service. So run the command sudo systemctl start Elasticsearch to start our Elasticsearch service. Okay, now let's enable our Elasticsearch service. So run the command sudo systemctl enable Elasticsearch. So let's check the status of our Elasticsearch. So run the command sudo system CTS elastic, uh, elastic, status elastic search. So you can see it's active running. That means we have successfully installed elastic search on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So clear the screen. Now next is configuration file. So you can see configure elastic search. So let's make changes in below configuration file. So open our configuration file that elastic search.yml that is our elastic search configuration file. And here we need to make three changes. So the first change is here in network host. Firstly, we need to uncomment this network host line and we need to replace this IP with 0.0.0.0. That means any IP address. Then the second change is in go to the discovery section and here we need to add this line. And the third, uh, third change is security. Here, begin security with auto configuration. Here, this security enable true replace with false. Now, save the file and exit. After changes any configuration file, we need to restart our service. So, run the command sudo systemctl restart and Elasticsearch. Okay, now let's check the status of our Elasticsearch. You can see it's active running. Okay, so now clear the screen. Now let's test our Elasticsearch. So testing Elasticsearch. So let's test Elasticsearch using call command by sending HTTP request. So let's run this call command in our terminal. So you can see here. The output you can see the IP. This is our instance IP. You can say 172.31.33.120 and 172.31.33.120. That's our IP address. Then cluster name, Elasticsearch. Then cluster ID, you can say the UID, then version 8.3.2, and so on. The details of our Elasticsearch. Now, if you want to access in your browser, so open your favorite browser and copy your instance IP. Then Elasticsearch port number is 9200. So let's hit. So you can see the same out and see the output. So now clear the screen. Now it's done. We have successfully installed Elasticsearch. Now let's take the next step. Now the next is install. After install Fluentd, you can see if you want to uninstall Elasticsearch, then you can run these three commands to uninstall Elasticsearch. Then you have successfully installed Ela uninstall Elasticsearch. So firstly, we need to update our system package. So let's update using apt update command. So it's done. Now the next is we need to run this call command.
okay it's also done you can see the message installation completed now clear the screen after that install fluent sorry install fluent plugins so let's install so it's also done now clear the screen now the next is give permission using below command so let's run this command to give permission okay now let's restart the service so run this command to restart our service okay now let's check the status of our service so run the command sudo system cts status and then our service name so you can see it's active running that means you have successfully installed fluently on our ubuntu 20.04 for ltls now let's clear the screen now the next step is let's run this command to reload our system then this reload command okay it's done now clear the screen now the next step is we need to inside this slash etc slash td agent for, for directory and here we need to run this move command and after that we need to inside this td co agent configuration file And here we need to add these below lines. Save the file and exit. And after changes in the configuration file, we need to restart our service. So run these two commands to restart service. okay let's check the status if you want to check so you can see it's running so now it's done we have successfully installed fluently on our ubuntu 20.04 lts so it's done now the next is install kibana so it's it's recommended to install kibana and kibana is a graphical user interface for parsing and interpreting collected log files so run the following command to install kibana so you can see the first command to install Kibana. So let's install using sudo apt-get install Kibana. So let's install Kibana. So now clear the screen. So you can see it's installing Kibana on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Okay, it's done. Now clear the screen. Now let's start our Kibana service. So run the command sudo systemctl start Kibana. Then let's enable our Kibana. So run the command sudo systemctl enable Kibana. Then let's check the status of our Kibana. So you can see it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Kibana on our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Now, the next step is configuration file. So open the kibana.yml configuration file for editing. So let's open this file. And here we need to make three changes. So the first change is server port. So firstly, we need to uncomment the server port line because Kibana port number is 5201. Then the second change is we need to uncomment this server host and we need to replace this local host with uh, with 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 that means any IP address. Then the third change in elastic search here. Here we need to uncomment this elastic search host file. Now save the file and exit. And as you know, 
After changes any configuration file, we need to restart our service. Run the command sudo systemct or restart Kibana. Now let's check the status. So you can see it's running. So it's done. Now if you want to check the Kibana, so you can run the command, you can see here to test Kibana, to access Kibana, open your browser and browse the following address. So open your favorite browser and copy it instead and the Kibana port number is 560. Sorry, 5601. It's 6501. 5601. You can see in my article, here I mentioned the Kibana dashboard. The Kibana dashboard is look like this. Welcome to Elastic. So let's check. It takes a few seconds. It's loading Kibana. So you can see the dashboard of Kibana. Welcome to Elastic and you can see it started by adding integrations and so on. So here, if I click on this add integrations, so you can see the dashboard of Kibana. So you can see some integrations, browse integration, install integrations. And then here, you can see there's some apply or some service analytics and security and so on the details. So you can check from here. And if you want to add integrations, you can also add from here, add integration after that. If you want to find any apps, so you can search from here also. Then this is the dashboard of Kibana. So you can see the details and so on. So you can see here. And if you want to check the version, so you can see here. You can see here from here, help and version. So if you want to check the documentation of Kibana, so you can check from here, Kibana documentation. So that's our Kibana. So in this video, we have learned how to install EFK on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. EFK means Elasticsearch, FluentD, and Kibana. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share, and subscribe our DevOps in channel.